Hello and welcome back. So you spent a couple of days working on clarity and you finally feel that you know exactly where you are and where you're headed. Well, that's fantastic. Congratulations on that. But you know what? Now that you've faced your demons, you have to do a little bit more. Now you have to let go. You have to release yourself from whatever chains you've been holding on to. That's the that's tricky part because many times we are either easy to, re to release others, but we are not good at releasing ourselves. We hold on to guilt, especially if we were the ones who caused pain to somebody else. We hold on to it. We hold on to the failure. And what happens is that when we hold on, we're unable to move forward. We actually feel that we don't even deserve a second chance, that we don't deserve better in life for whatever mistake we caused or made. So forgiveness is essential. Even if you're looking at forgiving somebody else, if the person hurt you, the first person cheated on you, they deceived you, whatever it was, if you continue to hold on to the resentment, those people moved on a while ago. The only person that's hurting is you. The only person who's, who's a prisoner is you. Therefore, granting forgiveness to others is really about letting go. It's not about forgetting. I hear it all the time. Forgive, forget. Unless you come in and erase my entire memory, I'm not forgetting anything that happened. But I can release myself from the pain so that when I look back and I do remember the events, I am not emotionally connected. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hold me back. That's what forgiveness is about. It's about release, letting go. When we forgive, we find freedom. Therefore, now is the time to look back at your notebook, Look at the things that really bothered you through your lives, the things that are still hurting you. And those are the things that you need to choose. Make a choice to let go. Take care.